and welcome to my channel Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang. And I'm Wolfgang. Well, since Flipper, dolphins have been loved by most of humanity. Scientists have a hard time getting a grip on their intelligence and pregnant women that swim with dolphins tend to bear super smart babies. Well, according to New Age lore, the Pleiadians incarnate in dolphin bodies and that of whales too. In my personal experience, many of my clients have parallel incarnations as dolphins and whales, as well as other creatures. With their parallel lives, I mean that our soul can be incarnated into different bodies at the same time. What you have to understand is that there is no such thing as a German soul or Jewish soul or a human soul. Your soul is the eternal awareness that inhabits all kinds of different bodies. The soul is huge and uh, most likely incarnated in plants, animal life forms, crystalline structures, and much more at this time right now. Uh, admitted uh, humans have opposable thumbs, written language, and can build machines, uh, but on the sense perception plane, in many ways, Dolphins and whale bodies are much, much superior to, to human bodies. In other words, they see things that we cannot see or perceive. Uh, especially in the electromagnetic and astral spectrum. So the whales and dolphins also seem superior in their capacity to love. Uh, you never seem to hear about dolphins and whales misbehaving towards human. Mm. Well, except that killer whale incident at SeaWorld. And um, so they always put up a really great public relation face for, human, for humanity. You know, with their splashing and spinning and other feats. And. So the heart tracker of a whale is surely an impressive thing. And if you are lucky, you will experience it in the following guided meditation. If you are interested in the topic of mermaids and dolphins, you want to watch my video Mermaids, Dolphins and 10 Atlantis Lifetimes with Leon Watson. Very interesting. And also, please uh, take a second of your life and reward my days of work and decades of expertise by giving me a thumbs up here below. Only subscribe if you are affected in a positive way by my meditation. Alright, so now um, we asked, uh, close your eyes and we asked absolute source of everything. No, nobody or nothing higher or superior. That everything that happens in and from the meditation here is going to be for the highest good, in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. And to agree to this, nod your head, smile. Mm -hmm. And we also asked that there not be any imposters or other intermediate being, you know, go stepping between us or source, you know, and falsifying anything. Mm -hmm. And we invite our highest self, our inner child, our divine spirit guides that are coming from love and light, and all our incarnations that can help and support you, you know, also your star tribes that are coming from unconditional love, the other higher dimensions that are also coming from unconditional love that are supporting human consciousness and of course also Gaia you know with the higher dimensional aspects 
and of course also Milky Way Galaxy. We are asked for your blessings and protection. We are asked that there peace be no deception. And again, that everything here works out for the highest good in divine harmony with the most splendid outcomes. And please now smile like an idiot and root into the earth goddess and allow the love to flow up through your legs and through your root chakra into you into your heart, into your head, and out on top. Mm -hmm. And then, just keep pulling this love up. And the stronger you breathe, of course, the stronger the experience is going to be. And smile. Don't embarrass me here in front of Mother Gaia. Mm -hmm. And now allow the love of the cosmos to spill down on you, over and through your head, your shoulders, your heart, all over and through your body, into the earth. So smile and Pull in the love that's flowing down over and through you. And cleanse your body with these waves of loving chi that cleanse you now by flowing over and through you. And we ask divine source and divine representation like Archangel Michael or anybody else that is called, depending on your belief system whether it's Lord Shiva from the Hindu tradition or whoever is qualified to remove now as much as possible any Anunnaki, any Alpha Dakunin, any grey or other predatory cords and devices and other technologies from every level of our being, any incarnation, any time or dimensions now, for the highest good, in divine harmony with the most good. And Amen, and say your Amen. And one, two, three, four, and I should be kicking in now. And smile, observe the shift in the energy. And yeah, let this energy flow especially into your heart. Now allow a rose or lotus flower bloom in your heart. And it gets nourished and bigger and bigger as this love and light from the heaven flows into your heart. And now you imagine Milky Way Galaxy kind of where your ceiling is and you connect with a strong laser the size of your head to the center of Milky Way Galaxy. And pull this love into you and on the exhale you send this love to the core of the Earth Goddess through your Earth Star. Just pull in this liquid love and light from the heavens, from Milky Way galaxy, through your spine, and on the exhale, push it deep into the earth. And this beautiful liquid light dissolves any blocks, or blobs, or clouds of darkness in you, in your spinal cord and other energy systems. And just keep on breathing deeply and smile like an idiot. And allow this liquid love and light into your heart to do dissolve any pain of darkness that you can detect. Just smile like an idiot. That's your dial for love. 
just keep, you know, nourishing all the pain till it goes away with this love. Mm -hmm. And now let this love <coughs> flow in from your head into your heart, out through your arm, and out your hands, into your knees, or wherever you're having on your body, those your hands resting. Call this love in as this, this love comes in vain with your mind. And now start pulling the love from the earth goddess as well as from the heavens simultaneously into your heart. Mm -hmm. And then the exhale expands this aura around your heart as if it's a balloon. Keep pumping it up and smile. And now we ask for the presence of our expert healing teams that act for the highest good in divine harmony for the most benevolent outcomes to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental and spiritual trauma from any incarnation time or dimensions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then upgrade us when this clearing has been done as much as possible to our divine blueprint. Um, um, um. Just nod your head in agreement without interrupting this flow of love. Now make sure you smile, and with your heart chakra blazing, you ask your highest self, the most true self and your most true aspect of your soul to communicate with you and let us establish in a very simple way. Of course, you can, your soul can talk to you in full sentences, images, symbols, whatever it thinks you know, is best for you. But um, if you can preach through something here for you, that would be very helpful. A yes would be a flow of love from the heart to the head, and it would feel like this. Maybe you could feel this. I do one more time. It would feel like this. And to know would feel like a flow from the heart to the feet, like a downer, and it would feel like this. One more time, it would feel like this. All right. Um, if you cannot get any messages, try a pendulum. And I have a video on how to use a pendulum. Okay, so smile and keep on um, running love from heaven and earth into your heart. Mm -hmm. And let's ask the first question. Are you incarnated as a dolphin in this lifetime? Yes or no? And let's ask, were you incarnated as a dolphin in past lifetimes, yes or no? Are you incarnated as a whale in this lifetime, yes or no? Were you incarnated as a whale in past lifetimes, yes or no?
where he incarnated in the body of a mermaid or merman in past lifetimes, yes or no? Are you incarnated as a mermaid or merman at this time, yes or no? And I have to say, the mer folk, as they're called, asked me explicitly to be introduced before the dolphins and whales. And um, some of you may think that mermaids are mystical creatures or sailors yarn, um, but please know uh, that uh, dolphins and whales are real. Yeah, of course you know that dolphins and whales are real, but uh, I know that too. And that is why I wanted to connect you with the dolphins and whales <laughs> first, because, well, everybody likes dolphins. So let me assure you that the merfolk are real and that you will find legends about them in traditions all over the world. They are real, but also fluid between the third and the fourth dimension. And that's, of course, the trick. And there were times when the mare folks uh, would be hunted uh, for curiosity exhibitions purpose or for their magical properties. And so they kind of withdrew um, from humanity, uh, not trust in them anymore. And so, uh, let's just ask, do you still have outstanding dark karma with the folks? Yes or no? And ask whether you still have outstanding dark karma from your ancestors' side that affect you? Yes or no? Are there any outstanding spells and curses between you and them, or your ancestors and them, yes or no? Are any of your ancestors or any of those mermaids still stuck due to trauma or dark magic that has been performed, yes or no? Mm -hmm. And now ask, what kind of service to the world do the merfolks provide? And now ask, how do they do that? And now ask, what service to the human world could they provide? Now ask, how would that work? And now we ask, all the wine ascension teams that are working for Source and for Love and Light to please clear all merfolks that are still stuck from our and from our ancestors' nets and harpoons or magical devices, traps, booby traps, bombs, chains, promises, contracts, shackles, cages, containers or technologies not mentioned here. Also please clear any veils that would hide these technologies after they offered, have offered forgiveness. So please know the way that will be given over to the divine justice. So please clear any stuck offenders and facilities forgiveness in the appropriate ascension temple facilities. Amen. Amen. Um, we ask that to be shown the higher perspective on their life, why things happened to them, what was karma, what was volunteered for experiences, and what was their mission, 
And when they forgive each other, we ask that they be liberated from whatever keeps them bound here, from all the baggage, and be escorted with their loved ones into the heavens. Amen. 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 Okay, you may feel an upflow, so just smile and send earth love into the heavens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we ask that all the divine beings take hand help those mere folks and you're also your descendants or no, your ancestors that got stuck around those fights be you know, to get into the heavens through forgiveness and mercy. Amen. 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 And now let's ask you in our guidance, did you have merfolk as helpers in past lifetimes, yes or no? Did you work with them as equals, yes or no? Were they considered superior to you, more spiritual or more knowledgeable, yes or no? Are some of them your spirit guides now, yes or no? And we ask that all resistances between them and us please be cleared now for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent of us. You know, this could be from vows, curses, black magic, technologies, whatever it is. You know, if it's not for the highest good, we like to have those resistances cleared. Um, um, mm -hmm. And now, on the inhale, just pull a smudge love from heaven and earth into your heart and send it to the mer people that you perceive around you. Just keep pulling in a smudge love from the heavens as you can, as you can hold. And then the rest just squirts out to them. You just breathe it out to them through your heart. And smile, smile and breathe as deep as you can. And we apologize to them for the barbaric behavior of the humans and maybe also for the barbaric behavior of our own personal history in past lifetimes, as well as for the barbaric behavior of our ancestors. We are so sorry, we are so sorry, we are so sorry. And we ask for forgiveness for this. And now we ask the ones that love us the most to please step forward. Um, now send them love. Mm -hmm. And on the inhale, pull their love into your heart and on the exhale, you send your love to their heart. Deep breathing and smile like an alien. And we ask that any impurities that are still, still there or that may be blocking the loving transmission or anything that gets transferred that is not pure, that that all will be cleared. So that all impurities be filtered out for both of you. Amen, amen, amen. And now I asked also, you know, just for fun, for the rest of the Murphic community to surround you with their love. Mm -hmm. And also send them love through your back. Deep breathing, deep smiling. Mm -hmm. And now I ask them, what kind of service to the world do they provide? And how does that work? Mm -hmm. 
And what kind of service, you know, that we are here in the human form, can we provide for them? And how would that work? And now we asked, our, we asked for a healing for them from our divine star brothers and sisters that are coming from unconditional love. Mm -hmm. This could be the Pleiadian or Arcturian. They have to be coming from unconditional love. And of course, accepted by their high selves and by our high selves. Um, um, um. Smile and keep sending this love to them. Mm -hmm. They actually love also the earth love. We are very, very grounded as soon. Mm -hmm. And if they want to give you a healing, just ask them to give you a healing, give them permission. And for instance, you can ask them to clear your birth trauma or to clear your third eye or um, to make you or your baby or your children a little bit smarter or more intuitive or whatever else is on your mind. And we thank them for coming. Mm -hmm. And we invite them to come and help us whenever it's for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent goods um, and teach us me. Mm -hmm. And now ask your own divine inner guidance um, are you, or is your soul incarnated as a dolphin in this lifetime? Yes or no? Now ask, have you been incarnated in past lifetime as a dolphin? Yes or no? Now ask, are you still having outstanding dark karma with the dolphins? Yes or no? And now I ask, do the ancestors have dark karma with dolphins? Yes or no? Are there any outstanding curses or vows with dolphins, yes or no? Are any of your ancestors still stuck from the offenses against the dolphins on the astral plane, yes or no? Have you or your ancestors trapped or offended dolphins that are still on the astral plane, maybe looking for revenge or trying to get out from there, yes or no? Now we ask our divine ascension teams that are coming from love and light to clear and rescue any dolphins that are stuck from our and our ancestors' harpoons are stuck in our nest or you know, stuck through our curses or whatever other trickery we did. Mm -hmm. And we asked that any magical devices, traps, booby traps, bombs, chains, promises, depth contracts, shackles, cages, containers, or technologies not mentioned here. 
will be cleared. Also, please clear any veils that would hide these technologies after they have offered forgiveness. And no more revenge. You know, this will all be given over to divine justice now. Also, please clear any stuck offenders and facilitate forgiveness, you know, for them to, they have to forgive and ask for forgiveness. We ask that there will be a lot of mercy from Absolute Creator. Mm -hmm. And if they have problems ascending or problems forgiven, we ask that they be given all the help. Um, um, um. and send earth love into the heavens that will help him to ascend now mm -hmm. you will probably feel an upflow of energy starting pretty much now mm. now let's ask what service to the world do the dolphins actually provide Now we want to be shown how do they do that. And so you may have heard that um, you know pregnant women that swim with dolphins have genius babies. So that is just one instance, but what service to the human world could the dolphins provide? And how would that work? And what kind of service that we are in the human bodies can provide for them? And how would that work? Now ask, did you have dolphins in past lifetime as helpers? Maybe as familiars? Yes or no? Did you work with them as equals? Yes or no? Were they your teachers? Yes or no? Did you teach them? Yes or no? Are some of them your spirit guides at this kind of time now? Yes or no? And now we ask that all resistances between the dolphins and us be cleared. Um, 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 and pull in a smudge love from heaven and earth into your heart and start sending this love to the dolphins. And just keep on pumping love to the dolphins. Focus on the inhale, bring in as much love as you can. Mm -hmm. And then just agree with what I'm saying. Yeah. So we apologize to the dolphins for the barbaric behavior of the humans. And also, of course, for our own history of our transgression against them, as well as from our ancestors. We ask for them too for forgiveness. Um, um, um. And just keep on sending love that shows that you have become a better person, right? Now we ask the dolphin that loves you the most to please step forward. And then on the inner pull the love of this one into your heart with your breath. And on the exhale send your love 
to the heart of that one. And we ask that any impurities or resistances between you be cleared. Mm -hmm. This should be kicking in now. And we also ask for the rest of the dolphin community to surround you with their love on all sides. Just smile like an idiot. Mm -hmm. And ask, are some of them your spirit guides? Ask them to step forward. And send them love, of course. And now, as a benediction for the dolphins, we ask a healing for them from our star brothers and sisters that are coming from unconditional love. Many of us have been incarnated in the Pleiadian planets or in the Arcturian or Syrian, and they all have technologies and they all can help. They need our permission, so we give it to them now. And if they want to help you in response to dolphins, we give them permission and ask them maybe to clear our birth trauma or to clean up our third eye and psychic perception or make, you know, us or our babies and children and family members smarter. <laughs> you know, that always helps, right? Um, um, um. And we give the uh, dolphins permission to contact us whenever it's for the highest good. Mm -hmm. And to guide you, and protect you, and help healing you. Um, um, um. And let's connect with your divine guidance again. Mm -hmm. Pull in as much love from heaven and earth into your heart. And when you reach this higher level of love, smile like an idiot, you know, that means sure that you connected with your divine guidance. Okay, now we ask, is your soul incarnated as a whale or in a whale body at this time? Yes or no? Have you been incarnated as a veil in past lifetimes, yes or no? Do you still have any outstanding dark karma with whales? I mean, there was a lot of whale hunting going on in past lifetimes probably, yes or no? Do your ancestors still have some outstanding dark karma with whales, yes or no? Are there still any outstanding curses and vows with whales, yes or no? Let me just point out the story of Moby Dick and I, somewhere else I read that um, the sailors believed if you hurt a dolphin, you have a lot of bad luck. And in that story, you know, some idiot tourist shot a dolphin for fun and the sailors nearly threw him overboard. <laughs> and I think they even had bad weather after this. So, um, these are not normal beings. Right? So I would definitely take this very seriously. Now let's ask, have you or your ancestors <coughs> trapped or offended the whales, yes or no? Are any of them, of those whales still stuck or of your ancestors still stuck on the astral plane due to this trauma, yes or no? Mm 
And now we ask that any ancestors or their own past lifetimes or any whales that got stuck from on the astral plane, you know, due to being harpooned or traumatized or caught in nets or any magic, whatever it is that keeps them stuck, we like to have them cleared as long as they forgive them. We ask the angelic beings to please help out with the love, unconditional love of source. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, please, please, please clear any stuck offenders and facilitate forgiveness. Show them the big picture. If they get stuck somehow and need help, please send help. Amen, amen, amen. Oh yeah, there's a lot of leaving. Yeah, I mean, veiling has been very, very rampant, right? A few hundred years ago, I mean, nearly bringing extinction. So let's ask, what service to the world do those whales actually provide? And for some of you, that you may be quite amazed, I don't want to preload you. Now let's ask, how do they do that? And let's also ask, what services to the human world could they provide? Because always kind of a selfish question, what can you do for me? So please tell us. Some of them may be new concepts, and so how would that work? Now ask, what kind of service can we, you now in human bodies, provide for them? I mean, you obviously not eaten whale meat, but what can you do for the whales? As an individual listening to this. And how would that work? Now we ask, did you have whales as helpers or familiars in past lifetimes? Yes or no? And I asked, did you work as equals or was one of you considered superior? And I asked, do you have whales as spirit guides or they would be called totem animals too? Yes or no? And if you get a yes, what type of veil medicine is affecting you from them? And we ask that all resistances between you and those whales please be cleared for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcome. Mm -hmm and start projecting love onto the whales. You know, pull in as much love on the inhale as you can, and then squirt the surplus to the whales, to their heart. And we apologize for the barbaric behavior of humans and maybe even our own history, and we ask for forgiveness. That's never wrong to ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And we ask that you be, please be helped, you know, with the forgiveness. And we ask that the whales that love you the most, please step forward. And then send special love to those. Actually pull their love into your heart and send your love to them deep breathing and smile
And um, yeah, this is so real. <laughs> Heart chakra is huge. <laughs> I hope you experience this. Just keep on smiling like an alien and pulling that love in. You ask that any resistances and impurities between your hearts be cleared. Um, um, um. And we also ask for the rest of this real community to please surround you with their love. And just pull their love in and then send your love back to them. And while this is happening, we ask for healing for them from our own star brothers and sisters that are coming from unconditional love, from your own Pleiadian and whatever aspects that you have. Um, um, um. Yep, it's coming in. Mm -hmm. Keep on pumping love and smile. Let that love flow through you and over you. And if the whales want to help you and do a healing in return, of course they are invited. And again, we can suggest birth trauma, third eye clearing, or make your kids smarter, or you know, clear whatever else that you like to have cleared or healed. Um, um, um. Again, we like to have anybody that's still stuck around wailing, whether it's the whales or the whalers, or the women whose whalers died in the cold waters. Mm -hmm. All those people that are still on the astral plane from our ancestors or our own past lifetimes or our friends and buddies, that they all be helped, brought to the ascension temples, helped with forgiveness. Once they forgive that whatever keeps them trapped be cleared, whether it's magic contracts, vows, <coughs> or, you know, harpoons or nets, and um, just mind games, mm -hmm. and then just bring them into the heavens. Um, um, and they ask that any resistances to them leaving please be cleared too, as long as it is for the highest good. In divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Um. Mm -hmm. And now we thank all the beings that came and helped, especially the Ascension teams and Source. Mm -hmm. And if anything, any whales, whalers, or anybody else is still stuck between the dimensions or on the astral plane, we ask that they be given help and brought to a place where they can serve the Creator for the highest good and also be happy. Um, um, um. Also, if anything negative attached to us or through us or between us, we like to have that clear too. Um, um, um. And now also return any soul fragments that can return to us now. For the highest good, please return them in the most auspicious way. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah, and smile here, smile here, it's coming in. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, yeah. While this is coming in, we like, so I like to have our subtle bodies updated to the highest divine blueprints for us right now. Amen. Amen. And when they're updated, synergize them all perfectly with each other and then soup them up to the best optimal level and then protect those energies so they cannot be stored or contaminated or manipulated by the service to self side. We are not there to be harvested in any way. Amen. 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 And now um, we ask that you be surrounded with this column of love and light that only lets in love and light, that transmutes any darkness and connects you to the love of source. Amen, amen, amen. And then please lock this in. 
Amen. And one, two, three, you're fully back in vacant day consciousness again, fully grounded. <clears throat> well, uh, welcome back to this reality. Um, yeah, please don't drive now. Uh, <laughs> at least ground a lot and drink a lot of water. After this meditation, if you get a headache, you have to drink more water. So drink at least a quart or maybe a liter of water. If you responded well to this meditation, um, try my other ones. Definitely give me a thumbs up, please. And um, subscribe, of course, and, or let your friends know. Um, I do personal sessions. Um, you know, they work very well. I'm very successful with this. Um, just uh, send me an email and I will send you all the info. Till then, have a wonderful time. Keep smiling, pump love, smile like an idiot. Namaste. Namaste.